Thanks for joining us. This episode will pass for you airily and painlessly if you're used to seeing a talking dog with an anxiety disorder and too much credit history. He already hung Christmas stockings on the fireplace and hopes Santa had called his drug dealer. Please welcome your shameless host, Mr. Quack. Uh, <clears throat> Christmas party period threatens STI boom with gonorrhea and syphilis at record levels. Oh, that's gonna be a hell of an experience. Just imagine, at first you attend the party that you don't want to forget. And after the long and furious fight with gonorrhea, you'll be doing your best to forget this party. But it has one advantage though. Everyone got their party souvenirs. Curse of the Pharaohs, which kills Tomb Raiders, has very real explanation, says expert. Oh, I guess we'll have to forget about new mummy blockbusters. When something called the Curse of Pharaohs turns out to be a simple smelly dead thing, life becomes way less exciting. Ancient life was way more interesting. Can't explain something, proclaim it a curse and see where it goes. Hungary seen as most corrupt country in the EU, study finds. Orban calls Ukraine one of the most corrupt countries in the world. Oh, now I see why Orban has been constantly blocking Ukraine from EU membership. He just doesn't want Orbanville to lose the most corrupt in the EU status. So Ukraine, you know what to do. Consider bribing the quack. Russia's latest disinformation tactic exploits American celebrities. The Russian edition of Goebbels seems to be way more creative than the German one. Russians use Americans to quack up the Jewish Ukrainian. Hmm, it feels like something is missing in this story. Oh, right, 300,000 Russians are missing here. UNESCO, Italian opera singing gets cultural heritage status. Seems this most effective branch of the world's biggest concerned organization is the only one capable of doing something. You should agree that this one is much more noticeable than all the other global cluster quack that the UN has to handle. All the wars should wait, just deal with the opera first, right? Watch this. Feral monkeys who took over town and loved to mock tourists moved to fake trees nearby. Mother Nature has given us plague, syphilis, COVID, and this. Me, Tanya. Hi, Quack. Keep talking like this, and my dad will feed you with a huge apple pie, but from the back door. Oh, why not? So, I'm in Thailand, the Fetchaburi province, where monkeys were just misbehaving and got better life conditions in return. I thought this scheme applies to politicians only, so that's why I'm a bit confused. What else? I see a group of tourists who came to be mugged by the monkeys. They are being held in one place for now, but there is a group of human thieves waiting for them outside, so they'll have fun anyway. Not that much fun like with the monkeys, but still. Oh, there is a group of Palestine supporters. They are completely ignored by these monkeys. Seems that monkeys just don't find their free Palestine posters useful for them. It also confused the Hollywood director Wes Ball, who works on the new Planet of Apes movie, as he just didn't know which of the groups he'll use for his movie. So he decided to go back to LA and stick to Trumpy's idea. Okay, but what solutions do officials see for this monkey overpopulation? Well, the first option was to force them to pay taxes. Normally, people disappear when they have to pay taxes. That could work on monkeys too, but it's more long-term solution. The other option was to show them a movie about China and its overpopulation problems, so that these monkeys stop having sex. 
As a result, all the newborn monkeys come with Made in China labels now. So, as you see, there is no solution so far. Well, what can I say? Take care of your tiny frog butt, because I don't want to see this fronky, or what should I call it? Oh, you! <laughs> oh, crap! Believe me, you don't want to see it too. What's next? That's all quacked up news for today. Push that wing up button if you enjoyed the show. I'll check out the comments too. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next gust of news frenzy. See ya!